Okay, Sharp's Netwalker, we've just turned it on and we've come up with this screen here and it says here in Japanese, welcome and before you start, uh, please go through the initialization. Over here we can either quit it out or we can continue. Let's continue and see what happens. Okay, so we come to the next screen and we're putting in the name, the username underneath that and then the password twice. Okay, the password has to be alphanumeric characters, um, English letters or numbers. And then under that we've got the automatic login and it's checked. So we're going to log in automatically next time. And then we've got the three buttons. We can cancel, um, go back or continue. So we're going to continue now. Just click on the right continue button. Okay, and it's asking us... Um, are you sure you want to go ahead with that? And we're going to say yes. Okay, so you have to remember that username and password um, because if you don't, um, you'll be in cactus. Okay, now it's starting up. Okay, now we are on the main screen of the Netwalker and what we're going to do is change it into English. So you can see my little cursor up here. We'll go up to the system menu. Go down to administrator. Just the second one down. And then go across and come down to the second from the bottom. Just got a little flag on it and it says in Japanese language support click on that and it will bring up the menu and login language selections so it's now just searching to see what languages are available okay and now you'll see two drop down menus the first one is for the um, menu for the login and you can choose various different English options there. Let's choose English for that and it'll ask for the password. So type in your password that you created earlier. Okay. Okay, so I'll just give you a look what that looks like. The translated version so you can get a bit of an idea of what those other options are. So here's the English translation of that menu. All right. Now to set that in motion, close the dialog top right, the X, and now we're going to need to restart the system. So go over where it says sharp on the top right hand corner. Go to the second from the bottom, that's the restart, and I'll just give you an idea of what that looks like in English, there's an trans English translation of that menu. Okay, so now we'll restart, and it says do you want to restart, and it'll auto automatically restart in a minute if you don't do anything, so say yes, we'll restart. and the whole system will reboot. This will take a little bit of time. Okay, so it's just coming back up to the desktop and now all the menus and programs have all changed over to English. should be now in English. Um, we'll just start the word processor and see. Okay, so now all the, the menus in the programs have also changed over to English. So it's a lot easier to use.